What is up guys, Ian here, and today I'm bringing you the start of a new series which is for beginners in Cinema 4D, giving you some very basic tutorials and guiding you through the first steps that you need to know kind of to get into the actual program itself. Now episode one is about the lighting and the various types of lighting that are available to you in Cinema 4D, and so I'll just jump straight in here. Um, I built this very basic scene here, uh, which I won't talk you through how to make it because all it is is a few spheres and a floor. And all of these tutorials, the project files, will be in the description so you can download them, have a look through. And basically I'm just going to uh, talk you through all the different types of light. Uh, so I'll just delete all these lights here. And if you go to the light panel here, just hold down the click. I'll even drag it out here. The first one we have is just a normal light, which if we drag up and press Command R or Control R, it will render the view out. So you can see we have these very kind of harsh lights here with no shadows at all. Uh, to get a shadow, you need to go into the actual light object, go down to the shadow here, and click Shadow Map Soft, I always use. Now when we render it out, we get these shadows here which if you go into the shadow you can also change down the density if you want a kind of lighter shadow but I normally just keep everything on a hundred and this you can just move around and it'll emit a light um, from this point which kind of goes everywhere in that direction and so you can point this wherever you want and the light kind of goes around accordingly so that's light number one and then the second light we have is the spotlight which I'm just going to rotate around that's by pressing R or the rotate button up here and just dragging it around and dragging it up now when we render this we have a spotlight as the name suggests and if we turn the shadows on for this as well you can see we have some nice shadows this is really good if you want to just illuminate one object or you can put multiple spotlights around and you can play around until you get something which you like here this is good for making one object stand out above the rest if that's what you like and combined with other lights you can have a very dim lighting around everything else now the next light is area light which is a little bit different if I rotate this round again and just drag it up now this gives a lot softer edges here and if we turn rather than soft shadows area shadows the render times come a bit more but you get much nicer shadows here um, they have a bit of fall off as well so that means that the opacity changes a bit uh, it gives much more realistic shadows I feel and uh, this is what I normally use all the time uh, just area lights with area shadow on and you can play about with that to whatever you like you can bring it in really close to the object but it gives these really soft kind of lights and last but not least we have infinite light which if I rotate this around a bit you don't have to move this anywhere just rotate it and there'll be an infinite light in that direction and I'll be honest I never use this light um, it's far too uncontrollable I normally just use area lights which you can move around, you can resize and just put to wherever you like and it just lights your scene perfectly basically. If you just play about with all of these lights you'll definitely find the best uh, one for you. And so I'll include the project file in the description but this is the first episode of my new series and make sure you subscribe for the rest.